reporting on the games you love by people who love to game. The MMO Reporter Network. You're listening to Lotro Reporter on the MMO Reporter Network. Brought to you by Audible. Go to audiblepodcast.com slash mmoreporter to get your first month free. And by Doghouse Systems. Go to doghousesystems.com and use the coupon code mmoreporter to get a free 120 gig SSD with your purchase. Welcome to Lotro Reporter, episode 307. I'm your host, Carrie, and I'm joined this week, as always, by Chris. Hi, Chris. Hi. Happy How's... June? <laughs> yeah, it's like weeks left to, until summer. Yay. I know, yeah. Holidays, yay. And yes, and we were just talking about PAX. Yeah, it's always interesting uh, to see, although I have to admit it has never been the same since Turbine stopped doing their PAX parties. I know. I know I that it was the highlight. Parties. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was fun times, fun times. Um, video of, of, of drunk uh, Rowan, drunk Aaron, yeah. uh, mm-hmm. confirming and play, really. I mean, he that's did. really what he it did. comes That's really all that the, uh, the, the turbine parties were, were a source for us to gain news on and play. Yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly. And me to confuse MMSA with you guys. Yeah. <laughs> I did. <laughs> But that was my first party, and I didn't know you guys very well. Yeah. So, um, That's yeah. Fine. That's fine. Yeah. All right. Well, shall we get into what we've been doing in game? Yes. What? Yes. Let's do that. What have you been doing in game, Chris? Skirmishes, skirmishes, and so many skirmishes. I've been leveling oh, yeah? up my champion over on uh, Landerval, and I've been I've I've decided that, and maybe this is for the the good or bad or crazy of me. I don't know. I haven't quite decided yet. But I've decided to get the deeds done for the skirmishes. So I've been doing Trouble in Tuckboro again and again. I just need that stupid guy to pop trying to get the chickens. And once that's done, then I've got the whole skirmish deed done. But the stupid guy with the stupid chickens won't pop. Oh, so do you have to go through the whole thing? Or do you realize the guy's not popping and then gets out and wait and go back in? I do the whole thing because I'm level. Okay. Well, that yeah. makes sense. Yeah, 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 yeah. No. Yeah. I just, I, I just got to go back and to the right. Right, and I check, and he's not there, and then I go keep going, do the rest of the skirmish. Uh, but so I've been focusing mostly on that one. I've done a couple of other ones for for fun, and I've been working my way through some of the epic story because I some of the skirmishes are locked behind the epic story. So I've been doing a little bit of puttering around there as well. Uh, but that's been most of my time just skirmishing. I actually skirmished a little bit. I was doing some streaming tests to. Uh, to check out uh, some different settings and try and find the best setting for for streaming Lotro and other games. So I played a few skirmishes while playing Lotro uh, and and trying out different settings and stuff like that. I got I'm pretty happy with the settings I've got now. It looks pretty good. Oh good. Yeah, yeah. what about you? Um I've been doing the Spring Festival if by doing the Spring Festival means doing the in-link quests and getting the tokens to go buy the stuff cuz I hate the chicken maze with about everything <laughs> that's <laughs> in me. Hmm. It makes me nauseous. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> running around that maze just <laughs> makes me <laughs> not <laughs> so yes my version of spring festival is let's go do the in league quests um without the hunter there the guide is still up and it actually takes not, doesn't take that long so you get drunk again and again no 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 i, I oh, do not the ones that one? where i take the take the 17 or 16 oh, okay yeah all over yeah. um yeah so what's I get the one see- where you get drunk is that's in league quests too isn't it yeah, yeah, that's the um, that's the one that gets you into the in league. Oh, okay, right. Yeah, we have to go all through all of the different yeah. um, the big bars. Yeah, you yeah. only have to do that one once. And that yes, got me dizzy. Yeah, but and yes, before anybody says anything, I know I can do the ale association and get double the the tokens. I just can't be that mean to people, so I won't. <laughs> do that. That's um, funny. Yeah, um, but they've got some cool pants and um, a cool shirt, so I'm going for that this year in the um, the, the new pretties for well, the Well, I expect tweeted pictures of the new outfits when you get them. 
Okay, I can do that. They're they're kind of cool. The pants put funny, but the shirts got like the rolled up sleeves kind of thing. It's oh, kind of cool. cool. Are yeah. you gonna? Are you looking at? Have you already started to think about dye combinations to make it work? Uh, not yet. Um, I have to go to the store, uh, or I have to go to the auction house and see if they've got any of the new dyes that I kind of missed getting. Because the last time I looked, I think they were so expensive. I'm like, I'll wait. Right. Yeah. yeah. Some of the dyes are really expensive. Um, yeah. I guess they're hard to get or something like that. Yeah. yeah. Or maybe not, not too many people have leveled up enough to make them. Yeah, or, that's yeah. true. Uh, okay. Uh, before we move on to the news, going to mention our Patreon, uh, campaign go to check out patreon.com slash mmo reporter if you want to help support the show or the other shows on the mmo reporter network including crowfall reporter mmo reporter guild wars reporter happy hearthstone and many more uh we really appreciate all the support you help us keep the metaphorical lights on and keep our servers a humming nicely uh so we really appreciate that go check it out patreon.com slash mmo reporter one of the rewards that i really like is we've got a slack channel dedicated just to our listeners and you can come in there and chat with us and uh and and ask us about our our games questions about the games see which server we're playing on on specific games if you want to play with us which we've done a few times before so it's a really fun way to interact between uh, some of the hosts and our wonderful listeners so if you'd like to help support the network go check out patreon.com slash mmo reporter see some of our goals and some of our patron rewards so you can go check that out All right, uh, we've got a series of stories here that are really interesting, and, and Carrie and I were talking about this at the beginning of the show, uh, that really all of the stories uh, that we have here, the first two stories, they're really of a, a similar theme, and we'll talk about that theme at the, once we've discussed this, these actual stories here. But the first thing that we want to talk about is the fact that uh, according to um, uh, Plus Dust on the uh, forums, uh, the manager of customer service, the mm -hmm. phone support will be going down for Turbine as of June 6th. Uh, and of course, this is uh, this is written as a expansion of their in-game support. Oh, and by mm -hmm. the way, we're closing phone support. Uh, I uh, This is kind of a big deal because basically they're not automating because a lot of the support isn't automated, but they're, they're taking away the most labor-intensive method of support and the most, uh, I find, satisfying method of support. Uh, it's always, always, always better if you can help it to talk to an actual person. Even if you get to the same resolution, you tend to come out feeling better in the end if you've got someone that you're talking to and they're trying to work through the issues with you rather than just sending a ticket in and working on stuff. Uh, so as of June 6th, this is no longer going to, well, the phone support is no longer going to be an option at all. Um, yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm not surprised in the least about this. What about you, Carrie? Not really. Um, they no. had kept, kept going. I think they were down to maybe four hours a day, four days a week at this point. Yeah. No weekend support, and it was like 12 to 4 or 5 in the afternoon right. Eastern time. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it doesn't surprise me. Um, it's pretty labor-intensive to do that. Yeah, and it's uh, – it's it's but it, it's labor-intensive, but it's a, a very – I find it much more satisfying way to do it. Yes. Now, yeah. next story. What are you talking about the next story? And then we'll, we'll have a little discussion about the two together. All right. So the, they've made some pretty big changes to the, the turbine store. Um, the last time we recorded, we talked about how they had temporarily stopped selling um, items, you know, like like things in the Steam store and other venues because they were going to update the store where you could redeem things through the in-game store. So they are doing um, some, they, they have done some changes where all of the key redemptions and stuff will be done from Steam and Digital Revel and all of those will be done in the in-game store. It will, um, it looks like the game time cards and some other things can't be, um, can't be redeemed there, but it's clear that their goal is to, you know, put everything through the in-game store. And then they did do a an, uh, downtime today, actually, where they were, um, introducing some new functionality in the store 
And then there was some very interesting things about known issues. And some of those are kind of important. I don't know if we want to talk about those now, now or talk about what we think about the changes in the store. Well, we're, we're, we're on a roll here. Talk about the issues. So there are some things that lifetimers should just not change anything. Um, because until the next update, you can see and change your subscriptions. Don't do that. Um, oh. And then... And then it's going to say and accurately say that it's pending cancellation. It's not. So don't freak out. Um, you know, as same with founders. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. Yeah. Um, oh, that would yeah. freak me out. Yeah. Yeah. So. Um, so they um, they said VIP point grants. Some users may not receive their monthly stipend. So that's something to keep an eye on. Um, and then lifetime subscribers may receive it on a different day than what they've done in the past. Um, and then if you like upgrade in the story, you have to log out and log back in. But, but basically don't make any changes to anything until the next game update. Yeah. That sounds like they're not going well together. Oh man. Can you imagine accidentally like going in and, uh, deleting your lifetime account. Yeah, you're canceling it because yeah, yeah. hitting a button and canceling it because you. Oops. You hey, hey, hey. And they thought, yeah, don't do anything until the game update. And of course, you can't call anybody now because you're you right. have to put in a ticket. Yeah. Yeah. Um. So, so I, I don't know about you, but it seems pretty clear to me that they're trying to automate as much stuff as possible. Yeah. It's. Uh... <sighs> And here's, I think, what we're getting to with the, and, and this is something that has been a reality for those of us who play Lord of the Rings Online regularly for quite a while, and and that is that this is not the same game that uh, that we were playing. This is not the same. How can I word it? Um, there are not as many resources behind this game in. Uh, now as there were with uh, Riders of Rohan, with even Riders of Rohan, right? But then even yeah. going back to like Moria or uh, the Isengard update, right? Yeah. Sort of those those big um, those big updates. There was a ton of resources, and now uh, the development team for Lord of the Rings Online is just not the same thing, and it's not something that we need to worry about the sky is not falling this is not the end of the game as we know it and we feel fine this is simply a reality for a game that is getting into nine years of life uh mm -hmm. there are other games you know looking at the similar lifespan wow looking at you right um but that's a completely different game and a completely different experience um well, I don't know. I think WoW is running into, just from talking to my friends who have bought every expansion for WoW, pre-ordered every expansion for WoW that has yeah. ever come out, yeah. they're like, meh, I'm not sure I'm going back. Yeah, but but here's the thing. They still have millions and millions and millions and millions of dollars a month oh, yeah. coming in, in in income, right? Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Yes, uh, WoW is slowing down. That's not what I was trying to apply at all. Oh, okay. It's that there's not as much resources. They don't have as much funds coming in to support the game. Right. I I, I do believe that the majority of the player base uh, is either lifetimers or um, free to play and don't spend any money. I, I do think that's probably a majority of the current playing population. I could be wrong, and I'm sure we'll get emails about this. Uh, and there's a small chunk of people who who do pay for the game, and that's unfortunately <laughs> affecting what yeah. they can spend on it, right? Right, right. Yeah, because you know the the lifetimers. I mean, do they even give that anymore? They don't even sell that anymore, do they? No, not at all. Yeah, yeah. So the only things that that you can buy, looking at the at the Steam store here, are uh, Helm's Deep Base Edition, which uh, gets you. Uh, a whole bunch of stuff and uh, Steely Dawn starter pack, a whole bunch of different basically starter packs, right? That will get you armor and um, and points and stuff like that and different areas. Right, so, right. So yeah. You can get, look in here. So in the store itself, I was trying to get to the main. Oh, it's not even up. Wow. Oh. <laughs> 
There you go. Maybe yeah. it's another yeah. maintenance. Yep. Interesting. So I'm I'm interested to hear what our listeners think about this. I'm not worried. I I'm uh i i'm okay with this i think this is the regular lifespan of the game i think this is the regular cycle of the game and i think that um really okay so we're losing phone support you know what that's kind of got to be expected we're losing you know they're automating more systems for uh the game store okay Mm -hmm. so that's that's another thing uh all of those things mean we get to play lord of the rings online more Right. And that's where I say, I want to play this game more. I want to be playing this game in a few years. And I don't want Turbine to have to shut the game down because they're providing too many peripheral surf- services, like phone support and like the way they're doing their codes. This is automating it. It's made, making it much more efficient. Correct. So that's my thoughts. What do you think about it, Carrie? I agree. I agree. This is, um, if they make it efficient and more, less labor intensive, then they can have, well, I, I, I won't, don't want, I can't say that they would use those resources to make more content because we don't know if the, the resources they would be saving would be, um, being put toward development. But I can imagine that, um, getting everything automated helps kind of with the back end stuff of, trying to make the systems talk to each other and keeping those working, mm-hmm. um, you know, cause I, I can't imagine the old turbine account website backend stuff is really happy to talk to the new server systems, right? you know, because it's, you know, two, I'm sure it's two different operating systems and two different, you know, architectures and all that stuff. I'm, I'm just happy that we have more, more Lotro that they're getting a new raid that, you know, that mm-hmm. we got all this new stuff. Uh, so I'm I'm happy with all of that, um, I, and so all these issues, well, you know, take it in stride. But I do think I do desperately want to hear from our listeners. I want to hear from you. Can send us voicemails, emails. We'll have all the lists of that at the very end. Um, but we want to hear from you. Uh, how how is your guild dealing with this? How is your kinship dealing with this? How is uh, your regular stable of friends? Uh, you know, maybe you've got a raid group that's not your kinship. How are they dealing with all this? These changes to the Lotro community and and the way the the game is being developed. We'd love to hear about it and share that and discuss it. Please let us know. Uh, we're doing skirmishers, skirmishers next week, so uh, go and uh, watch for our stream on Tuesday night. I think it will be fun. Uh, it'll be a fun couple of skirmishes coming up for those nights. I'm looking forward to getting back into it. We might, might, might even go on Landerval. <gasps> oh. oh, exciting. All right. Uh, if you are looking for a new PC, you need to check out doghousesystems.com and use the coupon code MMOREPORTER and you can get yourself... 120 gig SSD added to your system in addition to the terabyte drive that comes with the system or whatever you happen to get just by going to doghousesystems.com and using the coupon code MMO Reporter. They are fantastic. Our friends over at Doghouse Systems make the best boutique PCs in the business. And if you like audiobooks, go check out audibletrial.com slash MMO Reporter and you can get yourself a free month of audible uh basically that'll get you one credit one book that you can keep forever even if you cancel after that first month you still get to keep that audiobook and listen to it for the rest of your life uh there's some pretty good ones on there ready player one narrated i believe it's by will wheaton uh is a fantastic one so you could go and check that out uh fantastic stuff over at audibletrial.com slash mmo reporter I just had the most vivid... Okay, this is totally like, well, I'm so cool because I did this. I'm sorry. But I had the most vivid flashback. That was one of the things I got to hear them recording. Because that's from Riders of Rohan. And I was there the day that the violin player did all his recording. That's what I got to see. Uh, I didn't get to see the big orchestra, but I got to see that. Oh, wow. Totally just had that flash. Then we went out for, for... What was it? It wasn't Chinese food. But it was like Vietnamese food afterwards, okay. uh, with uh, with Chance Thomas 
and uh, Leo from Turbine, and uh, and the fiddle player. Oh, gosh, I wish I could remember his name. Fantastic conversation about music and and all the stuff Chance had done. Oh, sorry, flashback. I know. I, t- I, I. It was so <laughs> awesome, though. I'm sure you had so much fun. See, that's that's the thing. Is that's the kind of stuff that you miss. That you know. Yeah. That nine years in, you just can't do anymore. Right. Exactly. <laughs> Exactly. And now everybody's just doing demos via Twitch. Yeah, we don't hardly get those anymore. Yeah. All right. Uh, let's uh, talk about something that we are both very excited about. Weatherstock! Yeah, yeah woot, Weatherstock woot. 8. Yep. They are still looking for bands. So you can go to um, weatherstock.guildlaunch.com. They're also looking for help for backstage help and stuff like that. So you can register there for us to help out as well. They, it takes a lot of volunteers to um, get everybody to the, the top safely to keep the lobies from dying from the caravans during the, um, the concert to, um, you know, get people where they're supposed to be when they're supposed to be there. You know, they have people, they have hunters that will port you to the top Um you know, they have people who will give you free drinks and free, you know, tokens and all kinds of good stuff. I'm so uh, excited because this will be the first year where I'm not a uh, lobby when I go up uh, there because my character is going to be a uh, level like, uh, I don't know what, level oh, 100 by then easily. Yeah, because okay. we're I'll, I'll level 100 this week. Hey, I see me in one of these videos. Oh, do you? Yeah. Uh, I, I might have been one of our videos, too. <laughs> I was looking at him going, um, was that our video? Which I don't mind them put using, but I'm yeah. like, they look familiar. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, so Weatherstock, for those of you who don't know, maybe we've got some new listeners out there. We always have some new listeners every once in a while. Uh, but uh, Weatherstock is a great music festival on the top of Weathertop where all the bands of Middle Earth get together and play music. This is when Bob Cubed dies. Every year, yes. Bob Cubed will die because some wonderful people will forget to turn off their forced animations. And then some captain will force everyone to kneel. Boom. Bob goes or fireworks will start going crazy. And, or when we vote at the end and I don't know if they're going to do the same thing and they put people in different areas that tends to kill the server as well. But, yeah. Well, um, I think last year it was some lore master with, uh, something that the one that goes poof and brightens up the screens. Yeah. Just kills it. Yeah. <laughs> So, but thankfully, Turbine is always uh, wonderful in coming out and helping, and they uh, will boot a lot of trolls, and they will get rid of a lot of people, so that this is a fantastic experience. Really, every year there's server problems. Every year, it's just part of the experience. It's like it's like the traffic on the way to a music festival. If you're not expecting it, you're doing something wrong. Right. Right. You just expect the lag. Yeah. yeah. And exactly. every year... Every year, I always love going because I always, uh, I'm, I'm, you know, I, I come in and I'm never early, but I, I go right before it starts. And then I, I show up and I get there and I get to the top. And I'm like, oh, no one's here. And I and find my spot and then somewhere. I wait. And then the different races start showing up naked, of course, before of their course. closes render. Uh, their closes, their clothes uh, render. And so it's always interesting. I think it's like hobbits and dwarves come first and then the men and the, yeah, it's always yeah. very, very interesting to see. I usually that get happen. elves first. And yeah. Then, then the, yeah, I usually get elves first. Cool. Uh, yeah, so you really, if you haven't experienced weather, weather stock yet, you need to experience weather stock July 23rd. Um, and it's what time? Uh, uh, does it say? Doesn't I don't know. It doesn't say yet. It says, it's um, usually starts about 11. They actually they start at like 9 Pacific time. With pre-concerts yeah. and yeah, um, so yeah, it's it's crazy. Yeah, it, it's yeah, a lot they, of fun. And they'll have pre pre weather stock concerts for a week before mm-hmm. that, and all kinds of stuff like that. So it's a lot of fun. So you really should go check it out. Uh, we'd love uh, to see you there. We can all hang out together. Maybe we could make an M- a Lotro reporter uh, romp up the mountain. <laughs> Wouldn't that be interesting? We'd all die, of course. Uh, of course. Yeah. Uh, all right. Uh, if you have an event in game, then please let us know about it. We'd love to share it with everyone. And if you've got any questions or submissions, uh, send them to us as well. Carrie, how can they do that? 
Uh, they can email us at lotro.reporter at gmail.com. They can follow us on Twitter at Lotro Reporter. They can check us out on Facebook. Just search for Lotro Reporter. You can leave us a voicemail at 616-666-6778. Um, you can check us out on YouTube at youtube.com slash MMO Reporter Network. Um, be sure to check out our website at lotroreporter.com. And be sure to subscribe to us at twitch.tv slash MMO Reporter so you know when all of our cool podcast and streaming streaming goes live mm-hmm. you can find me at twitter at the carrie mac it's t-h-e-c-a-r-i-m-a-c and, and how can, can they find you at almazar a-l-m-a-z-a-r well right. thanks for recording carrie it was a lot of fun yeah it's i i miss recording with you mm-hmm. when i can't we don't yeah i uh, look forward to next week's skirmish of skirmish mm-hmm. uh thanks everyone for coming out we had a few people in the chat room quiet people but we had them there anyways. Uh, Thanks for coming out, everybody. Thanks for listening to the show, looking at the show on YouTube, however you may consume the show. Thank you. We really appreciate it. We hope that you come back next week to enjoy next week's show, but most importantly, we hope to see you in game. thanks for watching the video everybody don't forget to check out all the other podcasts at mmoreporter.com or by clicking on any of the links here and please check out our patreon campaign at patreon.com slash mmoreporter thanks everyone and see you in game